Backplates on graphics cards. Do they do anything? Should you spend the extra money for one? We're going to do some testing and find out. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. And I got the idea for today's video because I was doing my usual Craigslisting. And I happened to come across a post where the guy was said he was selling a 2080 Ti um, stock cooler and backplate from a black edition one. This guy puts in the posting that the cooler will fit on a 2080 Super or a 2070 Super of the same family, the black edition ones. And that got me thinking. He also put down that it'll reduce temperatures by up to 10 degrees and blah 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 blah, which is, I don't, I think that's kind of BS, but we'll find out. So as fate would have it, I just happened to have a 2070 Super Black Edition, which is in my streaming and editing rig that I use. And my personal one is a 2080 Ti Black Edition. Um, that has a custom loop on it with an EK water block. So I never actually thought about trying to put the back plate on the 2070 Super. To be honest, I was kind of disappointed when I got the 2070 Super uh, and it didn't have a back plate. The new egg posting actually didn't have a picture of the back. So uh, I just assumed that it had a back plate because the, the 2080 Ti model came with one. And they're both from the same family, the, the black edition, right? Um, so whatever, I ran it anyway. I I didn't think a back plate was going to do anything anyway. So for today's testing, we're going to be taking a thermocouple and I'm going to be putting one probe on the top center GDDR6 memory module because that's like in the middle of all of them. And then I'm going to take the other one and put it right in the middle of the VRM and then I'll monitor the core through Afterburner. I'm going to run two runs of Firestrike stress test. Um, one to warm the card up and then one run and then we'll see what the peak temperatures of all three are with and without the back plate and we'll see if it makes a difference. Let's get to the testing. Forgot to mention the fans will be locked at 75% for all the runs. So I just finished the testing without the back plate and the GDDR module temperature was 75.2 degrees Celsius and the VRM was 67.3 which is pretty surprising I would always would have thought that the VRM would run hotter and the core was at 74 so now let's go do the backplate testing and see if there's even a difference a few moments later okay so the results with the backplate were 72.4 on the GDDR6 module and identical readings from the VRM, so it made no difference there. And then 72 on the core, so it dropped 2 degrees there. Um, but it dropped a whole 3 degrees on the, the memory module though, which was pretty surprising, I guess. Um, yeah. What's the conclusion then? Well... For this model specifically, the EVGA Black Series, doesn't really make a difference. You get 2-3 degrees out of it. Um, so it, it is doing something. It is dissipating heat from the, from the PCB. But it's not enough to get any more frequency out of the core or the RAM or anything like that. I'd say it's more of an aesthetic thing where if you're... Video card is horizontal, the back plate just looks nicer. So if you were going to go for a black edition and let's say the the next model up with the back plate was maybe $20 more, sure, I would buy that one. Uh, $30 or more, that's when I would start to say, all right, maybe the, the $30 is not going to, you know, you can... Maybe buy an extra fan with that money and point it at the video card or some instead of the back plate. You know what I mean? There's there's more things you can do with that thirty dollars than just get a back plate. So that's my testing for today. Um, that's about what I expected. 
Although that's not to say that there aren't cards out there with better backplate designs. Um, I'm sure that there's probably some models out there that can draw more heat from the PCB. I would have to get access to those to test them, but f just from this, you know, one sample size, not worth it. Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can come game with me on Twitch on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, link in the description below. And if you have any comments or questions on how to get more frames out of your hardware, just put it down below and I'll try and get to it. And with that, see you guys later.